Almost six months ago, I took a look at a PC stick from Azul called the Quantum Mini PC Stick. They reached out to me yet again. They've got a new one they've released, but this time it's got Ethernet. This is the Azul Quantum Access Fanless Windows Mini PC Stick with LAN port. Let's get started. Now, like I said, I did take a quick look at the previous one back in January. Have not used it a huge amount since then, but it came running Windows 8, and then I had to upgrade it to Windows 10. This one is supposed to come running Windows 10 out of the box. And I believe other than just having an Ethernet port on it, all the other specs are the same. It does have a full copy of Windows 10 running on it. It has a Bay Trail Quad Core Z3735F processor, two gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of storage. But as I keep saying, it has a LAN port. It has an Ethernet port. So if you're trying to run some sort of a server application on this or something that requires low latency or no downtime or no anything like that, this could be a much better option. That said, it is currently available for $140 on Amazon. The price might change before this video goes up. The price might change after it goes up. But at the time of filming this, the previous one is still $90. This one's $140. So you can sort of decide on your own if that Ethernet port is worth $50 extra to you. But inside of the box, you get your little warning card here about how it's gonna get hot to the touch. You get a power brick with a micro USB end on it that outputs five volts at two amps and you get the PC stick itself. So just quickly walking through this, we do still have the antenna from the previous one. We have the micro SD card slot, the TF slot. We have a Kensington lock, full size USB, micro USB, power button slash functional button, HDMI here on the end, and the LAN port here on the back. And just putting it up side by side with the previous model, you can see it has basically the same antenna. It has the same sort of general form factor, but the new one is definitely just a little bit longer and slightly thicker, especially when it comes to that rear section. Realistically speaking, not that big of a difference, but if you're planning on dangling this off of an HDMI port, this might make it a little bit difficult to fit, and it might also put a little bit of strain on your HDMI port, so just keep that in mind. And next up, I think it's time to hook it up. We'll see what the out-of-the-box experience is like, see how it performs. So I've gone ahead and plugged in the HDMI stick. I put in a USB dongle so I could have a keyboard and mouse. I installed a micro SD card so I could test that and an ethernet cable so I can test ethernet capabilities. This is the first thing that popped up after we saw the initial loading screen. Pick my location appropriately. Looks about right. Legal stuff express settings or custom. You're definitely gonna wanna customize these, but for the sake of time, I'm not going to. Hi, we're happy you're here, so am I. There we go. And it just had me log in and basically welcome to Windows 10. No, I don't want a pen. No, I don't want OneDrive. No, I don't want Cortana. And after the lengthy Windows startup process, this is what I was greeted by. This is my desktop background that I normally use. Asks if I want to allow my PC to be discoverable. Sure, why not? And it looks like it might be finishing its startup process. Let's see what's going on. If I come into the task manager under performance. We're using a lot of CPU right now, but it's going down one gig out of the two gigs of being used of RAM. But anyway, basically it's Windows 10. Looks like over here, network three is connected. It sees my Wi-Fi and everything as well, but it's physically connected to hardwired networks, so that's good. It's wanting me to verify my credentials here. We'll do that later, but you've got all sorts of options there. Under our start menu, of course, all of the start menu options. I mean, it's Windows, what do you expect? If I come in to look at my system settings here, you can see Intel Atom Z3735 at 1.33 gigahertz, two gigs of RAM, 32-bit operating system with a 64-bit based processor, and it is a full-fledged copy of Windows 10. And if we come over here, you can see in the network and sharing center, go to ethernet. The ethernet connection is 100 megabits. So don't go into this expecting it to be gigabit. And I mean, other than that, it's basically, it's exactly the same piece of hardware as the previous PC stick that I took a look at. It's not going to be hugely powerful. It's not going to be used for everyday intensive tasks, but it could be used for things like web browsing and email and watching YouTube and things like that. But now it also has that little bit of added stability of having a LAN ethernet port to it. So if you do have some more intensive things you need to do that have to remain up all the time, if for example, you wanted to try to run some kind of a server on it that needs to stay up all the time, now you have that LAN stability to it. And other than that, if you want to know more about it, make sure to check out my previous video on the Azul mini PC stick. And as I do tend to mention normally, if you have any more questions, comments, or concerns about this, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. I'm definitely open to making more videos about these kinds of things. I'll leave it up to you to decide whether or not the additional money for that ethernet port is worth it for you, but I think that's going to wrap it up for me for today. I'll put a link to where you can find this on Amazon down in the description. Remember, leave me a thumbs up down below if you like this video, and subscribe to receive more of my videos when they become available, and we will see you again next time.